these are the little finished products. You can't really tell, but obviously they're gonna go in the, what do they go in? Kiln. Kiln. And then look at Moles. Moles look sick. Lately my the thoughts baby got baby. me distant. Darker oh. days feeling up, darker So yeah, mind. this is what we have done. Good morning, guys. We are in the Cotswolds today. I feel like this might actually be the start of a new vlog, but so we got here about seven, which obviously is a bit later than like you would normally check into something like this because the hotel is beautiful. But I had a little Sunday dinner with my family and then we drove down to the Cotswolds because Amy's actually got a styled shoot today, which I'll explain a little bit more when we go to breakfast. But our room literally looks out onto the lake. So this is our little bed, which we've had to try and make just just appreciate that we've actually lived in this hotel for a few hours, but this lake view here is straight out of the bed. It's so nice. And then, have you seen the ones over there, Ames? Like the, um, no. like these ones, like some of them have got like, oh, yeah. some of them here have got like top balconies. Some of them have little, so we must literally be in one of these rooms, but on this side, Yeah. on the middle oh, yeah, ground. Yeah, the middle bit. But honestly, oh, yeah. It's so nice. We've got suns burning through us. I know. And all the little grass reeds. It's so cute. So yeah, this is our room. It's actually really spacious. And then look at this. All of the products are Penhaligon's Halfetti. So your soap, your shower gel, your shampoo. It's actually crazy. Although I brought this is my explosion of products. I brought all my hair burst. Um, but yeah, we're just actually going out for breakfast. So I will take you guys along, but we do need to head off because Amy's got a shoot to do today. But good morning and welcome back to a brand new video. Wow, this is the lobby. So you've got this little fountain. How gorgeous. And then there's loads of hunter wellies here. I think you can actually hire them, you know. You know the little hunter wellies? Yeah. Conference guests though. For smart space guests. You know, like all the meeting rooms. Oh well, I'll definitely part of that. Look at this games area. There's like arcade games, books. It's so cool. It's so nice, isn't it? Explore. This is so handy as well. They have like a full shop. Because there is nothing worse than needing a snack. In the middle of the night. Look at all this stuff. So we've just come for breakfast on the lake. I think some of these are our rooms. I think we're in like between this and this in that little bit. I think that's where our view comes from because we can kind of see something to the right. But we're just in this really cute cafe on the lake. We actually turned up before it was open, but they let us sit. Have I got something in my hairline? Is there something in my hairline? Um, but yeah, we got here. A little bit earlier, we got here at like what, 10 to 8? So we just said that we yeah. would sit and chill and wait for it to open. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So breakfast has just arrived. I've got a scrambled egg with halloumi on toast. And Amy has got sweet potato, beetroot, poached eggs, pesto, wow. pepper. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Breakfast with a view. Well, I have spent today just doing some TikToks, some reels, some stories, and I've also hosted a masterclass, and I went live on Instagram whilst I was getting ready, so I'm literally just about to film a YouTube video. I'm just planning the topic, although I do like to just... I like to be quite intuitive and impromptu with my YouTube videos because I just feel like I speak so much more just open, honest, and not like scripted when I don't plan it too much. So I'm gonna have a think of what topic I wanna talk about for just a sit down chatty video on YouTube. And then I think I'm gonna head over to see Amy because I feel like I've been so, so productive and I kinda wanna get out, maybe get a little drink, maybe get a little snack, 
um because it is currently half past two and i've been going at it since half 11 so in quite a while <laughs> that i've just been like talking at the camera so i think that is the plan i've just got a cute little outfit on although i have worn a black bra which was not the best idea the cardigan i think i might swap my trousers for some little flares because i don't know if the jeans are just my vibe to be honest today so yeah, and then I'm going to go see Amy, but this hotel is absolutely incredible. I'm actually thinking of hosting a mini retreat here because it is just unreal. And they have meeting rooms, they have a spa, they have a gorgeous place where you can go for a walk. So I'm thinking of maybe hosting something here. So if you are an entrepreneur, then I feel like this could be for you because I'm going to try and make it as affordable as I can so that you can get strategy, you can get out for a walk, you can go to the spa. It's a really nice place to have a meal here. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm gonna maybe look into that, um, but we'll see, we'll see. I can see the iron in the background and it's really annoying me, but I just, I don't wanna move. I'm like shattered right now. I just need a drink and a rest. But I think I'm gonna try and get a YouTube video done because I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to give value. So yeah, just gotta rock and roll, get this show on the road, film this video, and then it goes see Ames. been a little bit ill <laughs> to say the least i don't even remember what i filmed yesterday yesterday feels like a blur because it was just so busy and then yeah i filmed some bits for tiktok and then i was like um jess are you okay you didn't film any of that for youtube so here i am back <laughs> um i thought we would just start little preface i am going to i'm leaving my house tomorrow to go to greece for my greece retreat so i really wish i could show you all of like the prep and the goodie bags and that kind of stuff but it's not all at my house so i'll probably show you guys that in the next vlog in like maybe like a greece prep vlog um because i'm going out for a couple of days before the retreat so i'll show you guys all like the things um but I got my nails done. I got this little evil eye on my nail. So I got it on matching ring fingers. These are my real nails. These are my real nails. Anybody that knows me knows I was a short, square, girly. It only took two nail appointments to get to this length. Two. Like, I'm so impressed with these nails. I feel more feminine. I feel... I can't see me going back to a short, square anytime soon. So... I got my nails done. Obviously, I think you guys saw anyway that I got my hair done yesterday. Just got a root touch up, although there is a little bit of hair dye on my head, so we're just gonna ignore that. I think you guys are gonna be more annoyed by my voice throughout this because it is just gonna keep going. But I've had orders arrive from ASOS, Mars the Label, and I also went shopping in Zara. So I thought I'd show you guys the bits that I picked up because I'm just in a desperate panic search. Does anybody else do this just before holiday? Even if I feel organized, there's gonna be one two maybe three maybe four panic buys because i just convinced myself that i don't have enough stock so we'll start with zara first i went in zara yesterday between appointments the first thing that i picked up was this blue shirt which i absolutely love and i'm actually starting to become more confident not buying everything so oversized that it just makes me look worse and actually just wearing things that do fit a bit nicer so i got this in a medium I don't know how much this was because it didn't actually have the little thing on it, but I'm going to assume it was between $17.99 and $23.99. I'm going to assume. Um, but I picked this one up and I love this. I've actually styled it with some trousers from Primark and a bodysuit, which I'll show you in a second. I'll pop a picture on of what that looks like here. And then next up, okay guys, this has been quite possibly the big topic of conversation for me in my household for the past... 12 hours so i picked up this top it's this gorgeous top but i don't know if you guys can tell it's massive i did get it in a large but it's way too big and it just doesn't go 
with the skirt that it's meant to match so this is the skirt which i'm obsessed with it's this like midaxi skirt now beautiful beautiful detailing it's given expensive it's given south of france which i might save it for my trip to the south of france but it's a gorgeous skirt the way that this top fits with the skirt just maybe it's not for my body type okay i am a curvy girl some things are not made for me i get it but just look at the try on video that i'll put on screen now it just i mean that video that you're seeing now is me literally lifting this up cropping this underneath and pulling this material back down it just felt really really bunchy but i'm really committed to the vision of that outfit and i don't know what you guys think but by the time you reply it might be a little bit too late because i'll have already left um but yeah this is the skirt i did try this skirt on with another top I'll show you that top in a second but this is a photo of this with a different top so you can see kind of how it looks and then i will find the top that i tried it on with is this it no okay this was the top that i tried it on with this one was from topshop this one i got on asos um but i will get into the asos haul in a second i just thought i'd show you guys the top that i also paired it with just to see if i could at least make the skirt work on its own but i'm just not 100 percent sure let me know what you guys think um, and the reason that I'm not just straight out saying I'll send it back is because I need an outfit for Greece. And I feel like white is so, like, Grecian. So, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit like, oh, I don't really want to, like, go for a full outfit. Next up is this shirt. This is $22.99, and it's this green colour. I'm not going to lie, I think it might be going back. I'm just... I'm just not sure it does a lot for me. So I do think this one's going to get sent back. But I got this one in a medium. And yeah, it is nice. I just don't know that I have the full capsule staple wardrobe to wear it multiple times. People have said like you can wear it as a beach cover. Which I could wear it as a beach cover. But, but I have a lot more like outfits suited to be in a beach cover. By the way, I'm like mid choking. If you wonder why I look like I just started crying. It's not because I've not found a dress for Greece, I promise. And then I picked up this one, which I really like. It's this like button detail. It's a ribbed like mid axi dress. I love this and I definitely want to keep it. I just noticed that there was a lot of like dust marks on it, which I feel like dust is one of the things it's actually annoying to get out. Um, so yeah, I might keep this. I might take this back. This one was $25.99. Really, really easy dress just to throw on though. It's a mid axi dress. I got this in a size medium. Um, and I do like it. I just wasn't 100% sure. I just kind of want to swap it for another one that doesn't have like the marks on it. Then next up, this was a little bit different for me, but guys, I love this. I got this bodysuit in this pink colour. I got this in a medium. It was $15.99. I love this new style of bodysuit. It's given skims. It's given shapewear, but also clothing. Do you know what I mean? But I was just obsessed with the colour. I can imagine this with some jeans. I can imagine it on the beach. Maybe not on the beach, on holiday. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. I also picked it up in white as well. Um, again, $15.99, but I just... Don't know where that is right now. There is just clothes everywhere because we're going to pack after I show you this haul. So, yeah. It's going to be a busy section of the vlog. Next, we'll do ASOS. So, first up, I picked up these trousers, which I love. I'm not going to lie. I've got about seven pairs of trousers. Um, and I did say when this arrived, I was like, the trousers are going to go straight back. I've got too many pairs. Well, I'm going to keep these because I absolutely love these trousers with the black and cream top i'll pop a photo on so that you can see i really really like these these were from new look i don't actually know how much they were and i'm not gonna lie new look was not on the cards for me like i've not thought about shopping in new look for so long but since i saw dio crow on the brand trip in marrakesh i'm starting to see really really nice pieces so i thought i'd give it a go and i was pleasantly surprised so definitely gonna have a little look out for new look I also never shop on ASOS either. I'm not going to lie. I just, I find it a bit overwhelming, but I'm not taking back anything that I got from ASOS. So maybe I'm going to start. Next, I got these shoes. I just love the little barely there heels. They're just this gold, like kind of like a muted gold though, like a white gold, not a big bold yellow gold. So I really, really like these. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were in the sale for about 15 pounds. Obsessed with these and they will go perfectly just you wait they are going to go perfectly with my favorite purchase of all purchases in this haul it is this gorgeous knitted backless dress 
this is absolutely beautiful it's a medaxi dress i'll put a photo on because you're not going to be able to see everything perfect here this dress is just i was nervous i was nervous i know this dress was meant to be about 85 pounds i got it in the sale for 30 something pounds I'm going to link it below because trust me guys, you need this dress. I was influenced by um, a girl that also does the travel business like me. She's great. She's a great person to follow for travel content, travel inspo. She's called Ella Reeves. She wore this in Cappadocia and I was like, wow, that looks incredible. But I didn't know whether she was a short girly like me or not. So I was kind of like, oh God, this is going to be so long on me. It fits perfect. It fits the most perfect length. It almost feels like it was custom made. I'm not even joking. So I was very, very happy with um, that purchase. That is my number one. But Mars the Label, Mars the Label, where the cool girls shop. Okay. Why have I slept on Mars the Label? Why have I slept on Mars the Label? You tell me. I don't know. I got two hoodies. This hoodie, this hoodie. Let me just talk about this hoodie, okay? It was not the material I expected it was going to be. So I was a little bit sceptical. It was feeling thick, but couldn't quite work it out. It's fleeced on the inside. It is fleeced on the inside. It's got this gorgeous, like, embellished detail. Not embellished, embroidered detail here. It's got embellished... Why do I keep saying that? It's got um, embroidered Mars, Life on Mars on the back. It's got a really nice raw hem. Love that. It's also got patted down the arm. This on looks so nice. It's the perfect cropped hoodie. And I love the colour. I just, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with this. I really, really like this. I got this one in a large. Um, did I get it in a large, actually? Yeah, I got this one in a large. Um, and I just love this. It might be my airport outfit. But I didn't just buy one thing on Mars the Label. I bought two. So now I've got competition for the airport outfit and the other one is this mars hoodie which i just love i just imagine getting on the plane especially because i'm feeling a bit ill pop a soother in pop a sleep mask on even though i'm only going to greece but you know just romanticize it together eye mask on soother in hood up knees up head on the side do you, do you see what i'm envisioning that's what i'm kind of feeling like this is going to give me a big slouchy hoodie and I would wear it today, but I don't want to then have it as my ill hoodie. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we all have that outfit that we go to when we're ill. Uh, but I just love this. So I got this in a large. It is oversized. So do with that information what you will. But I am just obsessed. So I am really, really happy with the stuff that I got from everywhere. The only thing is I am still stressing about actual grease outfits because... I only have a cabin bag. I have booked a hold bag, but it's full of the retreat goodies. It's full of like the workbooks, the goodie bags. Can't tell you what else because if anybody watches it before the retreat, they're gonna know. It's just got everything, itineraries, menu cards, like you name it, it's in that bag. And it means I've got a cabin bag for all my clothes for one week, one whole week, one whole week, seven days, seven nights, 14 outfits in one cabin bag. I think I need a coffee. I mean, I don't because my energy is absolutely carnage, but I just feel like I need a hot drink before we even attempt to pack. I nearly forgot to film the packing because I am about to go for a nap. I am struggling. I'm really struggling. But in this side, I've got a white dress, a white two-piece. This has come on every holiday with me for the past year. I've also got my wedges. I've got my clutch bag because I don't know if you can tell. We're going for a very blue theme it's grease after all so in here there is some um i guess not workbooks what would i call them like an activity is in here for all of my retreat attendees i've just got some trousers at the top um a bikini my favorite bikini i've got some dresses i need to work out how many night outfits i actually have because i still don't think i have enough but i am limited on space to say that i still need a few more bits to go in here because we also have like yoga and a sound bath. So I need to make sure that I have an outfit for that. But I have just spoken to AJ and she did say that there should be some space for me in the main um, like bag. But I also need to work out what um, like hand luggage I'm taking on top of this. Because I'm going to need to bring my laptop. But then I'm also thinking I could just use a beach bag and like double it all up together. Um, and just use my beach bag as like the bag on 
the trip just to make it a little bit easier. I've also made the decision, I think the white two-piece is going to go back. So I think I'm going to go in the morning with my mum and just take that back. But I'm feeling positive this just needs to get put away because even though I love it, it's not on the colour scheme for Greece. And then I also just need to work out which hoodie I'm going to travel in because again, I am a little bit limited on space. I did actually pay for a big bag to be less limited, but it's just not worked out that way. So, um, so yeah. This is my next decision, but I am literally going to grab my laptop and get in bed because I'm struggling. I've got a green tea, I've got my water, I'm trying to limit like caffeine and coke and all that kind of stuff. So that's just going to stay on my bed. I don't know about anybody else, but <laughs> as long as it's not in my little section. So yeah, that is the plan because I just feel not great and i want to i'd rather recharge now and be okay for greece than push myself push myself uh, like all my family are at the theater today but i just i just need the recharge so i'm gonna have maybe a little nap put something on drink a lot of water drink my green tea and just chill and then i'll probably pick you guys up when i feel a little bit better but mum i've got two glasses on the go <laughs> We've just come to Rise for a little breakfast. We've been shopping, but I can't show you what's in there. However, I have been shopping. I got these lovely sandals and then some heels as well and some soothers, essentials. But yeah, we're just having some little breakfast here. Do you think you're gonna eat? Are you hungry? So we've just got some coffees. Mum's got an oat milk. What have you got, oat milk? Caramel. Caramel. Oh, same as me, but I had to get normal milk because they didn't have soya. Bye. Cheers. Successful day shopping. Honestly, I never thought I'd see the day that you eat brownie without me. But mum's got salted caramel brownie and then I've got some scrambled egg on toast with some halloumi. Cheers, mum. Mm. So I'm pretty much there with this case, although I am still stressed about space. Now we need to do skincare, makeup, hair care. And then I also need to work out what bag I'm actually going to take, like, on top of the suitcase. So I'll show you one of the options, but I just don't know that it's that practical. So this is one of my options as a cabin bag, but I'm a little bit nervous because it needs to fit, like, my laptop in it, my makeup, all that kind of stuff. Now, it will fit everything in, but I just don't know it's the most practical bag. But I think we're just going to have to roll with it because... I do need the space. So I think that's what we're gonna pack. I also need to decide on an airport outfit because I just can't work out between these two hoodies. I'll show you them on. So this is the Mars the Label like cropped hoodie. I just love this so much. But the only thing that's making me think about the other one, the slightly like bigger hoodie, is just how ill I feel. <laughs> so yeah. This is the hoodie on though. I just feel like it's it's giving it's giving what I wanted it to give. Maybe we go with this one. With an all black outfit and maybe my Yeezys. I was thinking of taking my P6000s, but I don't have enough space for everything. This could be a contender. This could be the one. But then at the same time, this is just giving. Comfort is key. No one sweets me sleep mask on you guys know the vibes to the in flight mask on so i don't know which hoodie i don't know which hoodie to do i'm really bad at making decisions when it comes to stuff like this like it's going to stress me out because whatever i pick i'm going to think i've made the wrong choice don't know if anybody else does the same but i thought i'd just show you guys what i picked up i did take back so i talked oh. about hi so just for reference, I took back the white two-piece, the green striped shirt, the black dress. That's what I took back. But I feel like when you take things back, it feels like you're about to spend free money. So I kind of did. So I just picked up these absolutely beautiful heels. I tried these on in a size six. So I sized up on these and they actually fit perfect. So... I sized up on these. I just love these so much. I think they're so cute. I think they're perfect. They're so comfy. These were $35.99. How nice are these? They're not going to come to Greece with me, but I needed some shoes anyway. Now I'm hoping these can come to Greece with me. 
because how unreal these are giving a mess h&m h&m i see what you've done here these are so comfy these were 18.99 i don't think that everyone's cup of tea mom didn't really like them but i love these so i picked these up and then i just got some essentials there's nothing like a little boots haul before a holiday and then just from boots i picked up these nutrify under eye patches again just think they'll be perfect for the flight because i'm having to go up at 4 a.m yeah well about half three actually and then i need to drive all the girls down to gatwick so that's gonna be fun but I'm with my girls so it's gonna be fine just picked up these just to hold my curls in because i don't know where all my clips have gone since i moved picked up a new mascara and then another pack of trusty soothers to help me through at the moment and then just picked up some birthday cards that i needed to get and that is me that is me done so the eye patches are on i'm just about to dry my hair and then we are going to do the final bits of packing i've actually just cleaned my airpods i got this really cool tool from sheen in my sheen haul if you've watched and it has like this bit to clean your airpods it's also got a brush and then it's got this bit that kind of like goes into the headphone section it's so good so i've just done that and then i'm going to clean my screen so i'm going to make sure that my laptop screen's all clean my phone screen all that good stuff um but i'm just going to dry my hair before i dry it i'm just going to actually put some of the hair scalp serum on i actually don't have any of the elixir which is so annoying because it is one of my favorite products but we're going to do um some of the scalp serum and then I'll show you guys the final bits before I close out this vlog. I'm going to put the Summer Fridays jet lag mask on as well, just before I get changed, because I think we're having a roast dinner today. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we are. Um, the only things left to pack are this. I just need to fill it with my SD cards, my batteries, my leads for like my toothbrush, my camera, etc. I've currently got most things on charge, like my light, my camera battery, etc. Um, these are all going in the big case because we actually have a big case full of the retreat stuff so this is all going to go in there and then i've just got my toiletries in this bag and then in this one i'm going to pop my airpods back in it's got my passport my clip it's going to have my card holder my sunglasses etc just anything that i kind of need to grab is going to go in here just need to clean the laptop screen. Look at the state of that. And then these two bags and my laptop are gonna go in here with these sandals if it all fits. So that is the plan. I am also gonna bring this bag, I think. I don't know whether to do it or not, but I'm just thinking if I could take it on the plane, it would make my life easier because then I can just fill this and then everything I need will be in here. I've got my airport app on the door ready. And then yeah, I just need to pop some stuff back in here. And then I think we are pretty done. I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because I'm going to be at AJ's tonight. But I might start a new vlog ready for the Greece trip there. Because you'll be able to see a few of the goodies, the workbooks, all that good stuff. So I will see you guys in Greece for my next retreat. I'm also announcing the retreat after that. Um, whilst I'm on this retreat. So keep your eyes peeled if you want to come to the next one. And I'll catch you in a new video.